actually talking about Shane's new CD, and I have a burning question for you. What song resonates the most with you on this collection of work, and um, why? Okay, what resonates with me right now is what's happening right now. Bring our troops home uh, safely. And I had a vision about this that um, all the, the fighting and the warring and all, um, these troops, these people's sons, these mothers and fathers' sons need to come home and stop all the warring. So this song came about when I was uh, visiting in the United Kingdom. I was at King Arthur's Castle, at Cook's Kitchen, and I was channeling this song. Uh, it's not my song, it just came through me. Nothing like this Always. ever happened mm -hmm. <laughs> in my life. I'm gifted, and I understand I have a God-given talent, but I've never channeled like this. And this song, it was like, um, it was like in a Gaelic accent that I was singing with a group of spiritual um, healers, and it's called Home. And we started it by just chanting, Om, um, and so. I think we're gonna have our producer cue it up and we can listen to it. <laughs> Drum. What type of drum is that? It's being played. That was a four tom, and um, there was a vibration in the land because I had visited the sites where Stonehenge is and uh, Salisbury Hill yes. that's sung in one of Peter Gabriel's mm -hmm. songs. And um, we went to visit King Arthur's castle, the remains of that, and there's a kitchen that's the cook's kitchen where it was an outdoor area where they had the, the wood burning uh, stove and the fire pit and the water and they actually cooked the meals for the men, you know, as they went off to war and then came up the hills to the very top of that hill where the castle was. And so um, that's where I got the song and it was about uh, bringing our troops home, bringing the troops home. And <laughs> I think that it's, um, I mean, it's an absolutely beautiful song. It sounds very, very um, ancient yeah. to me. It has an ancient feel and a sound. And I also, I, I think that it's um, relevant to today, too. I mean, absolutely what you're saying, whether it's a song that was created with, you know, the era of King Arthur or something for today, I think it's a healing song. Yeah. And I think that um, it's an important song it should be listened to. Yeah, we all sat um, in a circle because we felt a vibration there. Um, I probably should um, be a little more specific because um, I'm in my creative mind now <laughs> with the song and I, I lose track. Um, uh, I, I called David Usakinen when I got to the airport um, in Philadelphia on my way back. and. He's a famous drummer with the Hooters mm -hmm. band. My and many David. other bands too. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very multi-talented drummer, uh, exceptional. And I'm like, David, this is Shane. He said, I know. I said, mm -hmm. David, I need to meet you in Elm Street Studios. Uh, I'll, I'll get a call to John Senior, and I, this song is with me in this vibration of the land that I feel, where I was just visiting, and he's like, I get it. I'm like, seriously, uh, as soon as I get off the plane, I don't want to lose this. It was a mm -hmm. vibration. It was like a, a thing. Like, I mean, I felt like I was walking with the angels and was bringing the, them back with me. And this song needed to be voiced. It needed to be heard. And I, it was strange because I didn't know, this is not anything like anything that I write. Yeah. And it's, I still have this like type of an accent, a Gaelic accent that needs to be with the song. Right. So um, he, I got to the airport, he met me, and I uh, went in the studio, and he said, play the piano. I said, I, don't, I didn't play it, I didn't you know, write it yet, it's just, I could sing it to you, and he said, play it. And then he heard it, and he felt the vibration, and, um, and he got, picked up a floor tom, and put it next to me, and he sat next to me, 
and there it was. It was so amazing to me that I brought this vibe, this um, um, mm -hmm. like this vibration from that land to America, right. and I experienced amazing. that. He experienced that. John Sr., who's very, very fussy in particular and articulate, he was kind of a little surprised because he's very rigid about how he does his producing. And he kind of just sat back and like, hmm. And we all did that. And it was done like in only like one or two takes. Wow. And that was the song. That's amazing yeah, how that happens. I mean, that is a gift when it comes that quickly. And right now, really that vibration is so strong. I said to Shar, uh, I said, listen, this song, I was hearing it this morning, and it's right with me, it's right with mm -hmm. me. So um, I feel that that's the song. I, I have a lot of good songs on my album. They were, they were up for, I was, they were submitted for Grammy um, nominations. She had 16 nominations this yeah. year? They were accepted oh in 16 categories. That's amazing. They were voted Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. And yes. Home is one of them in the, um, America, American, uh, Best American Performance. Um, I was just really amazed. But that's a song that needs to be out there. The vibration. So whatever's going on, I feel like it's a protection. It's like, it's a godly thing. It's an angel thing to protect our loved ones. Bring them home. Mm -hmm. um, but it started with us sitting in a circle because we felt this vibration in Cook's Kitchen and all we did were singing, um, um, and then all of a sudden I get up, I'm like, it was, I was, like, it was a force, and it's like, oh, rest ye weary men, we bid thee to come home, and I'm like, who are you? But I couldn't stop, mm -hmm. like the way I write, so I didn't stop, it was too much emotion as they were still doing all um around me, and they're going like this, and I, I started rising up, that was scary. They saw it. I never really spoke mm -hmm. about it unless I was speaking to people that understood. Understood, because I still don't understand. I was a little off the ground, and I just went up. And oh, now I don't care. That's what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> and um, I know you have experiences with spirituality, mm -hmm. and you are a visionary, and you're. Uh, I don't like to call it psychic because no. you know. You, people get the wrong idea of fortune yes. telling, and there's no right. fortune to tell. No. Or I'd have a fortune, right? No, right. You know, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> but healing, when you heal, like I can, you'll feel like the heat, you know. Mm -hmm. like when you, yep. mm -hmm. Or prayer, prayer. I've seen miracles so many times with prayer. She'll tell you that story. Mm -hmm. Tell the wind I'm calling. <laughs> uh, we worked on that together, and that was a process of healing for someone that was in a comatose state. And oh my gosh, it was unbelievable. That's yeah, we actually we don't well, question it anymore. No, we actually wrote this song for her. She actually came to us while she was out of her body, mm -hmm. directing us pretty much to write this song for her, which we fleshed out in like an hour at the most. And there was one little part that we were stuck on, and, and Shane was here. We were at the piano over here at the other side of the room, and I said, "Just go home and go to bed. We'll we'll finish it tomorrow." Mm -hmm. She called me the next morning. She said, 3 o'clock in the morning, she was awakened by our friend Linda, who said, I'm going to tell you the words that you need to finish this song. Go to your piano. 3 o'clock in the morning, she gets up, she goes to her piano, she finishes the song, she goes back to bed. She comes over later that day, played everything, and it was, um, it was a prayer. It was really a prayer and a song for her. So... We, and it's funny because she yeah. asked me about angels. Yeah. The first time they met, this is way before she even became ill. Didn't even know me. She's no. like, I want to know about angels. Like, how, well, how, why do you know? What do you know, know about, about angels, right? Angels. She didn't even know. I'm wow. like, I know. Uh, I, okay. Yeah. That is fascinating. So we created the song, and she was at the point where she could actually receive company in the hospital, but she was barely speaking, and her body was not moving at all. She had Guillain-Barre syndrome. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she could really only communicate by blinking, but we got to the point where she could speak a little bit, so then we were able to go visit with her. So we re Shane was kind enough to have this mixed, recorded, mastered, the whole shebang, we went in with a, a CD player, and we took a CD in, and we played it for her. And after she listened to it, she cried. We all cried. Mm -hmm. And then she also said, you're not going to believe this, but 
the left side of my body, which has not been responding to any kind of treatment, I'm feeling needles and pins. Wow. Can you leave the CD with me? Oh, wow. And of course. And, and they played it. She played it every day throughout the day. And she said every time she played it, she felt stronger. She was able to start to move her, her hand and her leg and her foot. And so, I mean, Shane and I, I know I speak for you, we really do know that music is powerful it is. and it's healing because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we've witnessed it firsthand yeah. Yeah. and that was truly a gift from the heavens mm -hmm. that we were able to create that song and give that to her and i had no idea that i was i thought it was just another song i'm getting but i had no idea i was going to be a part of that healing mm -hmm. she got the call mm -hmm. about her girlfriend we're at charlie brown's having and dinner. dinner and i'm like wait a minute we gotta pray right now She's an emergency. No, she's gone. Mm -hmm. She's going, <laughs> and I know where she is. She's asking, questioning, like, "What is this? What is my life? What's where happening?" Is I'm right. And so we come home. I hit the piano. She goes, "I'm gonna go upstairs." I'm like, "Good," because I needed to be. It was like the same thing. I was drawn. Right. right. And I started playing this song and getting these words. And, and I came downstairs and I told her earlier in the day, I'd gone for a walk and I kept hearing these words in my head, tell the wind I'm calling. And I go, I don't know what that means, but it won't leave me alone. We have wow. to do something. I said, well, that's what I'm writing down here. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm upstairs I'm singing it. Now she's amazing. writing it. And holy she, moly. Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, See, it, but yeah. that's the connection, right? And yes. when you were talking about your song, mm -hmm. I had chills, you know, listening <laughs> to it. I mean, because yeah where you know first of all our intuitive connection to each other mm -hmm. okay and then the energy when two or more are gathered you know yes, and the energy exactly. that we always say that you know oh my gosh. that is put out from that is incredible and so there's a lot of healing work that is done right. just through those things you know mm -hmm. music um it can be chanting you know which is mm -hmm. sometimes a form of that depending sure. if you're doing all this stuff. Absolutely. And so then there's, there's a lot signs. Of and it's, I'm listening to you, but I have to interject this because you don't know this, but before I got here, I went to breakfast mm -hmm. and I went to the diner, the lamppost, which was a Charlie Brown's. Oh, Interesting. No so this conversation <laughs> yeah, was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, that circle. happens to me all yeah. the time. Doesn't and it? I and then a dollar. is the light. Right. Like uh, that's like God saying, like laughing, like they're my kids yeah. and they're doing my my work. You're not. You don't have to be perfect. I am not, and or, or be a saint. That's not going to happen. Um, but just do the right thing and help one another mm -hmm. and and touch hearts. And I'm glad that you're you like we. I think we were given talents because it was our healing process and our therapy. Mm -hmm. But I if agree. we can use it to help others too, because what God gave us, we so, should. He's so happy. He's yeah. like. Oh my God, like I gave you, it's like being a little kid, like I gave you the brand new bike you always wanted, but mm -hmm. you're laying on the rest of the other kids that aren't fortunate to ride and see yes. they're happy too. That makes a dad so, you know, I, mm -hmm. I look at him as my dad and have him um, to all of us when we're just all brothers and sisters, whether you like it or not, we're all going to see each other. Yeah, and, and we're all end, connected. Right? We're all connected. Right. So we have to help each other now. There's yeah. no, you, you can't go there and go, oh, I'm sorry, don't do that. Have fun. Fix it and fix it. And, and I we do think, the good times, yeah. Yeah, I do think that creativity, which is is a feminine energy, so I guess you could say yes. the the feminine part too, which is not yeah. necessarily just okay, that's female, but yeah. everybody has that You're right. creativity right. expansion. Is. That mm -hmm. part is so important mm -hmm. for communicating and connecting mm -hmm. on an intuitive level and mm -hmm. on um, an expansion level and higher awareness. That that creativity which comes through as music and yeah. art mm -hmm. and writing and poetry and whatever you can dance, think of and anything, dance anything expression that, anything expression. that gives you joy and fills your soul absolutely i think we all have male female mm -hmm. within us because god is male female you know like water is is the the feminine the flow the fluidity mm -hmm. and then the grounding and the rock and the mountains that's the heart heart with the soft we're the ones that like blue is for boys and red is for girls you know and we want to divide one another and mm -hmm. you know combat one another instead of embracing everyone as 
you know, um, one, we're all part of each other, we all need each other, mm -hmm. it, and don't break us down like, oh, you have blonde hair, and you have, it's just like, hi, how are you, how about that, what's new, how can I help? I find that today people are just so judgmental and mm. without even asking a question, it's just a decision is already made about you right. or your personality. It's just terrible. Yeah. I mean, ask me. Right. Ask me first before you make a decision. Mm -hmm. you know, all the flavors and all the do. colors, what makes the world go round. Right. I mean, if, if you spend a moment, just a, people don't even do this, to really be present when you walk mm -hmm. out your front door and just take a moment to look. There's blues and whites and grays and yellows in the sky and then probably the brown, colors you've never even noticed purples before. I mean they're all there but you don't see them because you're all like here you're all here I right. gotta do this gotta do this gotta do that you know what did this one mean how did this go you know it's like overanalyzing and being really stuck in yeah. the, usually stuck in the past like I said I know I was mentioning Joe Dispenza oh. mm -hmm. and I'm working through a lot of his stuff and you know we are so stuck either in the past or in the future, anticipating, worry, worry, we've already programmed worry. what's mm -hmm. going to happen, oh, what that always. person's going to say, yeah. how that person's going to respond to us, and living in separation mm -hmm. when really, you know, nature works in cooperation and mm -hmm. unity. So um, as much as we can get, push ourselves towards unity, the happier we're going to be. And in that sense, we have to leave some of those preconceived notions mm -hmm. behind and leave the mm -hmm. past where it is when it's right for us and that's all evolution because we have to go through our own demons and <laughs> our own you know emotional uh evolution to get to that point to get to understand right. that you know so. especially if you do the if you're the one that want, tries to want to do the right thing um right now it's, there's a lot of negativity in society and every time you turn the tv on and everything else that's prevalent, it's affecting everyone, even though they want to say it doesn't. It does, because it's and you're in going your against face the all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah, when you're doing there. the right thing, mm -hmm. you're like one against. Mm -hmm. And you don't mean to be against anyone, but just you have to really realize, that myself also included, I just spoke about this, I have to just get you know present again and I have to be calm. And thank God I have a friend that I can just like talk to mm -hmm. honestly, mm -hmm. honest, heart to heart. We're not perfect, this is what it is. No. Okay, I'll be all right, thanks. Mm -hmm. yeah. I also find that meditation is very grounding. Mm -hmm. um, it really, if you can shut everything down, you can find some more peace within yourself. I, mean, I know mm -hmm. it has helped me greatly, and I maybe meditate maybe only 10 or 15 minutes a day when I can, but it has made a big difference. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, shutting off the senses, that's because we're so grounded in this physicalness, and as we understand more about science and energy and how there is no space between you and me there is no space between you and me you know we're all in this um this cosmic soup as you call it or whatever you want to call it where right. you know our energy is being shared and we're sharing it with other people and it looks like there's space and it looks like but we are mostly empty space which yes. is really not empty space but that's a whole another conversation, conversation. <laughs> for another day we're actually all atoms mm -hmm. but what we see in front of us what maybe is not what you or she sees in me and you. We right. how do we know? Absolutely. We, we can describe it the best way, but mm -hmm. how do we really know? Absolutely. So we all have to get on that same vibration so we can really, really communicate with each other. And I think that <laughs> a lot of people are not on the same vibration. We were we <laughs> the moon on this one. We <laughs> you know what? Need a that, rocket ship. And you know what? That <laughs> okay. is going to be what we're gonna talk about in our next conversation oh, when we oh, have good. Shane back. I so can't wait. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in to Sweet Soul Synergy TV. We hope you enjoyed our show today and we look forward to the next time. Thank you.